Uh, if your hitter tends to collapse that front knee too much uh, continually, especially on non-really low pitches, where they come through and this knee's always bent, it's gonna slow down their bat speed. Because we wanna hit against a firm front leg right at contact, so we want that front leg to firm up and then to help our hips whip through and get a complete finish and avoid the lunge, okay? So uh, a good drill for that is where they're gonna actually kick up their back knee, that's gonna firm up their front leg, okay? But then we want them to fall back slightly after to make sure they're not lunging once again. So notice how my front leg here, okay, boom, will firm up and I'll hit against that front side. And this is good on lows and high pitches to make sure that they're able to firm up that front leg at contact, okay? So it's here, boom, and then fall back a little bit. Uh, this drill also really helps to keep the front shoulder in. If your hitter tends to pull that front shoulder a lot, this is your drill to make sure that that front shoulder goes directly towards the pitcher as opposed to spinning out a little too quick. So this will help us transfer their weight in order to keep the shoulder on the ball a little longer, especially for that outside pitch. Okay, and then Boom, right here. And then once again, as long as they fall back, it's not a lunge. My head is still back here, but I'm able to transfer my weight and get everything generated through the ball.